was in Pennsylvania, my new buddy Jeff was often showing me acorn grinding stones, also known as mortars. At the time, I didn't fully grasp the idea as I'd never heard it before, nor had I seen anything like what he was showing me. But after stumbling upon the old video included later in this segment, it became imperative to put a full report together for this particular type of stone feature. Jeff mentioned learning about acorns when he was out in California, as evidence had been found there of what is now known as the California Indian acorn culture. California is a long way from Pennsylvania, so let me interject here with a comment from biologist and herbalist John Slattery, author of the book Southwest Foraging. John says, No other food has sustained the human race to such an extent as the acorn. If you took a gigantic table and laid out all the foods humans have eaten across the globe and, over time, making an individual pile for each foodstuff, acorns would be, by far, the largest pile on the table. Wow, that's quite a statement. But when you consider that there are over 600 species of oak worldwide, with about 90 species in the United States alone, that images of oak trees, leaves, and acorns are found in cultures across the world, and that countries such as England, Estonia, France, Germany, Lithuania, Poland, Serbia, the United States, Spain's Basque region, and Wales have adopted the oak tree as a national symbol, that statement suddenly sounds much more believable. Yeah. This is a bacteria skeleton, dead bacteria in the form of black stain here, because they're feeding on the proteins that are embedded, uh, you know, embedded in the rock. And yeah. This here area is for processing acorns. And here's the blue here. The banking thing, the banking with the groove across. Yep. So the nuts don't go nowhere. You know. So they'd probably crack them up there. Yep. Send them down to the banking. Yep. There's people. Bring them over here. Multiple people doing Swipe this. Swipe them yep. up over here right. and, and mill them right. here. Right. One person's cracking the nuts, one shell, and one's milling. Yep. Or two. You got yeah. maybe. Let's think about this for a second here. You got one person. You got one person cracking right here. You, you got one person over here shelling, another person over here taking the meat to that side. Up there, and then sw and then either the swiping it over or the person or two people that are over there milling the meat of the acorn, and then probably finally another person over on this end pulling the meat up over here, right. and probably down into. Mm -hmm. A hide a collecting it yeah. yeah something so I could easily see one two three one two three four or even five and five or six here five six people around this um, you know breaking the acorns down preparing them for food it's common to see that they, they do this work next to Carnes, the burial sites and that. They want to be next to the spirit. Yeah. Their ancestors. They never forget their ancestors. Right. That's why they spend time around their graves. And you see, that's very common that these big nutting rocks and then Carnes next to them. You know, or mortars circling around. Sometimes you see mortars, five or six of them, all around the Carnes. Yeah. They come here to pray to the spirits. And right next to it is a big mortar. Yeah, show us the mortar. It's all been pecked out here. And I found a stone. It had a knob on it. It had two-sided handles on it with a knob. 
crushing the acorns. And then they put hide here, and they all funnel down in here to gravity. Shuffles them in the fingers, they shuffle them down into the into a piece of hide. And what about that stone you found? Where was it? It was right here. Right there. Just probably one too. Well, don't kill yourself. <clears throat> yeah, definitely a mortar though. Would have been a very nice mortar with all that quartz in there. They yeah. certainly, they certainly valued quartz. I guess they shoot, I'll show you right here. This ledge, all these pecked out here. Pecked out here with a ledge, a banking ledge. And a little notch. Remove the move the material or whatever they're processing into a hide. After they crack it, shell it. Yep. Milling stages, milling areas. These are milling areas. Another flat stone here. Yep. Another one here. A bunch of them right here. A whole bunch of them. Yeah. And they all in a line here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now for that old film I mentioned earlier. Bread from Acorns was filmed by Guy D. Hasselton and was released as a silent film in 1933. I've added music by William Hopper. I need to thank Skip Elsheimer at the AV Geeks YouTube channel for doing the copyright research, digitizing the film, and sharing it with the world. Be sure to check out his channel. He does a great job doing this for all sorts of films. And if you enjoy Bread from Acorns, go to bit.ly forward slash avgeekskip to make a donation.
Thank you for watching this episode of Northeast's Historical Stone Sites Investigations and Explorations. If you're interested in learning more about this topic, join Nira at Nira.org and join Nessie at Nessie.com. Becoming a member of Nessie supports continued production of this series. You may also make one-time or recurring donations. Thank you.